What's up, people? Hey, hey, guess what? Guess, you want to see what's in this case? Do you want to see what's in that case? Let's do it right now. Now! Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Steve Ricardo. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Hey, um, just come and check out this page out. Smash that like right there, man. Just smash it and uh, subscribe. And that's how we keep getting awesome because you guys are just phenomenal. During this COVID time, you guys are wicked uh, you know, supporters, of course. It's the music community. It's what we do. So today, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a flashback. Um, grab a piece of gear that I've got that I've had for a long time that I religiously used like there's no tomorrow i mean it was it was my go-to guitar so uh going back about shoot probably 10 years 12 years ago uh, i was endorsed by a company called fernandez guitars in california and uh japan so they are now company's gone they're in japan now they were well known for doing their bernie guitars which were pretty close to the gibson knockoff left balls and stuff so i had a schwack of those guitars um and over the years you know things break on the road they get demolished right sell some of them absolutely but i kept the two main ones that i've loved forever which is an ocean camo i'll review that one day and then my main one which is um alder body and it was a graphic arts that came out with like a, sh a shin sheen and they had various, they had uh, Japanese warriors, they had koi fish, they had various murals on these guitars. So I picked up a koi because I'm a huge koi fan. So I ended up having this thing for a while, used it. it uh, the guitar, Alder Body, came with uh, Seymour Duncan pickups in it. Uh, I gutted the Seymour Duncan pickups and went with the EMGs. And everything else on the guitar is just as straight uh, as it is. So it's an awesome, awesome guitar. Let's... Uh, I got the case right here. Let's check it out. Let I don't know if I can even flip my phone. No, it cannot flip the phone. So <laughs> they make it so difficult. So let's uh, let's open up the case. I got it right in front of me, and let's go from there. Yes, glasses. I know, I know. But anyway, just check this guitar out. It's awesome. It is amazing. It is my go-to. Um, let's do this real quickly. Here, here we go. Switch the guitar. Switch the phone around. All right, so here's the case. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. So, um, yeah, let's open her up. Uh, it's already there. So this is... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there she is. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So this was my... Uh, I loved when I first saw this. I just fell in love with it completely. Unreal. No, it doesn't exactly fit Bonnie Scott um, tribute to ACDC, but uh, one night I'll bring it out just because I have to, right? So, but there she is uh, in all her glory. So, I just love this guitar. Anyway, uh, like I said, Alder Body, it's mother of pearl inlays. Fernandez made an amazing job making these guitars, and it's got the... It's got the locking tuners in the back and a little bit more information on her. So there she is. There's the Sheen logo. And guitar number 308 from the series. So, but yeah, locking tuners. Just an amazing, amazing, amazing guitar. So. EMG 81s. It's not going to stay, is she? There we go, real quickly. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's pop her in. Why don't we do that? Play around with her. All right, let's do this. Hey, voila. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> um, here's a close-up view. What's up, Steve View? So here's a close-up view of her. Uh, like I said, just all their body, neck through construction, jumbo frets, 22 of them. Uh, I swapped them out for the EMG, 
8081 set because it just uh, it had the crunch. Not the Seymour Duncans were awesome. They were, but it just didn't suit what I was doing at the time. Uh, just an amazing company complete. It's a shame that they're gone. Uh, they've had some uh, numerous members uh, and endorsees on that company. Um, shared it with Kerry King because he used the uh, sustainer. They're well known for their sustainer kits. Um, Phil Collin from Def Leppard uses it. Uh, Kerry King used them. Uh, Vivian Campbell used the sustainer kits. Those are still around. So the company still makes that, but out of Japan, right? There is a U.S. dealer that just brings them in when you need them, but they don't carry the Fernandez guitars anymore. Um, buddy from uh, Static X, the bass player, uh, met him a couple times. He uses their basses, and uh, we I was at NAMM uh, 2009 or 2010. And uh, yeah, met the, the gang there, and that's how I got hooked up with them. So it's just an amazing company. So let's run through this. Real simple. It's not really much to this guitar. It's bare bones. It's real simple. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll run through my Marshall, through my two notes, into the, uh, who have I got today? Yeah, George Lynch, man. Still running through the George Lynch Mars. All right, let's, uh, let's run through this thing. So this is at the, yeah. time this came out of the case must have been at least two years ago it's still in tune position. couple out there I've seen on Reverb. There's some on um, eBay. So just look around, see who, occasionally they'll pop up. Usually the Dragonflies are the ones that I see the most popular because those are the ones the guys usually liked. Um, I'm huge on, you know, the Flash kind of thing. There's lots of cool, de you know, stuff like that. That That's amazing shit. So I like that stuff. So. But just... <laughs> The body of it is just, look at that. That's got some, some depth to it, right? Absolutely. Plays as smooth as ever. Um, everything's nicely lacquered. It's got a nice finish on it. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can I tell you about this guitar? It's been a part of me for a long time, and it's, uh, it's one of those guitars I will not be getting rid of. But you guys want to hear some drums with this thing? Of course you do. Let's put some drums on it.
Still out of the case. Out of the case. It's still fucking up like that. It is. If you do and you can't acquire one of these guitars, do find them. Um, like I said, find them. Find them on Reverb. Find them on eBay, wherever you can. Uh, marketplace. They sometimes pop up, not very often. But uh, if I do see another one, I would definitely grab another one. Wow, that was fun, man. Seriously. <laughs> Great idea. I'm going to have to thank the wife for this. She's like, you got to do another review of your older stuff. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, she doesn't sound like that at all. Don't worry about it. Um, and I'm like, yeah, you know what, um, honey? Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll grab some more of my older stuff and, uh, and bring it out. So from the years of playing and touring and doing shows, I've got a lot of cool stuff that uh, I haven't brought out of the case yet. So we will do that on future episodes. But until then, hey... Thanks for watching this episode on this awesome guitar. If you find one, do so because you will be pleasantly like, oh my God, I can't believe I got one. I can't believe I got one. So anyway, I'm going to keep shredding. You guys are awesome. I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Happy March, man. Cheers. <laughs>